And we're rolling. Yay. Oh, let me sit down. Oh. 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 You feeling your oats? I am feeling your oats. Right, I'm going to start this video by saying I am a Sifa Lahore. Classy. I am Asifa Lahore and I am Britain's first out Muslim drag queen. If you want to see more videos from me and my bestie, Sergio, then please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification somewhere here uh, for you to get future videos. I'm also going to start also by telling you all that we are both going to be at RuPaul's Drag Race Drag Con uh, in London sometime in January 2020. Yeah, something. I forget the dates. Mid-January. Mid-January. Yeah, something like that. 17, 18 January uh, 2020. And we're going to be there with our exotic jewels. Oh, what's this? Ah, let it be. Never mind. So we're going to be at Dragcon in London with our exotic jewels. So please check us out. And the other thing I'm going to say to start with is the big tea of today is that season two has been commissioned by BBC Three. Yay! So we are going to get more of Drag Race UK next that year. That is so exciting. So exciting. What do you think about that? I think it's great. I think it, you know, it's good to have... I hope that the show does in a similar way to what uh, the US version has done. To, mm -hmm. you know, just for LGBT visibility and yeah. for making you know LGBT issues you know, more commonplace. Not more commonplace, but that it's become more accessible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes, that has its up, is, you know, downfall, upsides and downsides. But the reality is it's given a platform for LGBT people to be themselves. Amen. And I mean, also the other big thing is, is the last five episodes have got six and a half million views. That's a lot of views, babes. That's a lot of views. Have That's you like... sat in the living room just pressing play over and over? You know me, going for it, hoping <laughs> you... that season two will be You've commissioned. You've contributed to at least half of those views. Exactly, exactly. But that's great. I'm glad the show's doing well in the UK. We always knew it would be yeah. a hit in the UK, so I'm glad. Okay. I let's... was a bit ambivalent because initially when they had um, all those many years ago... When they had, you know, uh, on E4, was it? Yeah. You know, you know, there is a reason why it was, you know, cancelled. Why they stopped not showing it. But again, a lot has happened in 10 years. And I'm glad that, that it's been a success. The show has evolved. I mean, come on. The show has evolved, but also socially we've evolved. Yes, very much so. I mean, the first two seasons didn't get a lot of ratings, babes. Mm. Even in the US. No, oh, yeah, but... It's just a good thing that logo stuck with it. Yeah, amazing. Which brings us on to episode six. six. Oh, ah, oh, just a little bit. Oh, I mean, they should have like a like a Eurovision. They would a Eurovision challenge would be oh amazing. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Um. Okay, so I have to say, I absolutely love this episode. Such a good episode. I think so much better than yeah. last week. I thought. Yeah, last week was a bit of a snooze fest. This week up is up there as one of the best episodes so far. Yes, loved it, loved it, loved it. So Crystal goes. Yes, I think it was her time to go. Yeah. I think her performance last week was a bit... She wasn't bad. No, but it was her time to go. It was her time to go. And we're left with the top five queens. And when all the girls come in, a fight breaks out. Yes, tell us about that. So, um, the Vivian, who was also in the bottom against um, Crystal, was asked, you know, who she would have chosen... As the other two members of her girl band had she won the mini challenge and she said cheryl and davina yes. but she said davina after much consideration and she wasn't she didn't seem that enthusiastic yes and this obviously got to davina and davina went in she did you know she felt she felt victimised. She was like, you know, you seem to have a problem with me. She was violated. Mm, she was violated. We love that word. We love that word. Uh, I feel that... Listen, it's come down to the nitty gritty. They know they're each other's competition. Yeah. They are the most all round. Yeah. Out of everyone there, both her and Vivian are in it to win it. Yeah. And I think 
you know, they've been there for a long time and I think, you know, pressure's starting to show. Yeah. And anything will just pop off. It's like a pressure cooker. Yeah. And, you know, she felt like the Vivian was shading her and she went in. Yeah. But, and then the Vivian topped it all off by saying, I've seen you in a silver dress and red wig for the last 10 years. That's shady. Yeah. That is shady. To be honest, she does wear, she does, she is fond of a red wig. She's fond of a red wig, but Davina is very diverse in her looks. I, I've always seen her to be quite different. Yeah. But oh well, maybe she's maybe Vivian has just seen her on television. Mm. Oh well. So it's a brand new day, and we come into the workroom with the girls, and the mini challenge is rather interesting. A lot of, a lot of bulge. A lot of bulge, a lot of beef. Yeah, a lot of British beef. Oh, yeah. A bit of steak. Yeah, yeah, a bit of meat. My little one was the one at the far end. Was far he the Twinkie right. one with no. the thighs? Far right. Oh, he didn't have good thighs. Far right. Okay. Yeah. So one thing we have to say about our Brit group. By the way, the mini challenge was the Brit crew, the Brit... The Brit crew were brought into the workroom. A lot of bees, A lot of bees. A lot of bees. Uh, There was a lot of them. And they basically, they played a game called BBC, which was boxers. Oh. Now that is racist. How dare you? Oh, I was obviously watching a different show. Exactly, you were. It was... Pornhub, I was on. What? It was boxers, briefs, or commando. That's what it stood for. Yes. Oh my god, so that's why they had darker camouflage shorts. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Camouflage. Oh my god. So the queens had to guess whether the Brit crew were wearing briefs, boxers, or commando. Now, commando, not what you're thinking, boys and girls. It's actually just really small commando-esque briefs. Yeah. Which I was a bit, you know. It was camouflage. I wanted to see butt. I wanted to see mm. bare cheeks. There was quite a lot of butt though. The tall one had, it was very ample. Yes. I like the twink on the left with the pecs and the um, oh, thighs. Mm. It was hot. You would have got it. Juicy. Juicy. Uh, didn't think much of the mini challenge besides the Brit crew. They were fit. Yeah. No, I didn't really. Yeah. Who won the mini challenge? Didn't really get me moist. I can't remember. Wasn't it DDC? I think it was the DDC. Yeah, the DDC. So Davina won it. And she won a call with Katia. Yes. But, uh, game change, it wasn't actually a call. No. Katia was, was there. in the building. Yeah. I like the fact that they were bringing the US queens in. Well, you know. Hopefully they'll of, bring someone for the finale. They're creating a bridge, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, we love a good bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I'll meet you in the middle. Bridge into my ass. Mm. And, um... Uh-huh. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And then the main challenge was? Uh, they had to promote, essentially, their own uh, bottled water. Water. Their own bottled water. They had to create the a water campaign. The water in Mallorca ain't what it ought are. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But anyway, yeah, go on. Uh, so they basically had to... Similar to, like, season five's uh, perfume challenge, but yes. just with water. yes. And straight off the bat, Shell holds out, oh my god. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do, love? Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, the Vivian is shady. She's like, oh, do your Welsh accent. <laughs> that was shady. Uh, but again, she could have been actually. Do you know, I don't think the Vivian's shady. I think she's actually just. She's trying to be helpful. Mm. But because she is the front runner, everyone's like, oof, you're being a knob. Mm. But I don't think she is. But, you know, why does she have to, why does she have to give advice to everyone? She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. She chooses to. She chooses to, do you know what I mean? Like that confrontation with something wrong. Oh, are you going to start listening? I'm like, she doesn't have to. Whether yeah. you're right, you're right, but... She it's her prerogative. My prerogative. My prerogative. Anyway. What did you think of the videos that they shot? They're cute. It's kind of went past, if I'm honest. Yeah, it, flowed, yeah, that... it flowed very quickly. I liked Davina's because it was conceptual and I liked the whole... Plastic, mermaid business. But it wasn't really all that. Yeah. She was the only one that stood out for me. My favourite was Bagger. Oh, her baggy, chippy tea. Yeah. I was like, where's you? And then, of course, you know, the Vivian was good with her accent. Loved the Vivian. But it was just, you know, it was just a cheap, a few cheap laughs here and there. Yeah. 
But I don't think that's necessarily the Queen's fault. No. It just felt a bit... It just wasn't loving that challenge. Yeah. It was it was a very British challenge, I thought. They all just took the piss, which was amazing. Yeah. Um, what did you think of the runway? The runway theme was... A rainy day. Oh my God, that was really... British weather. Really good. It was really cute. I would have done, mm-hmm. like... Similar to what Kim Kardashian did to the Met Gala. Mm-hmm. Like a dress that made me look... Like, you know like Ruth Lorenzo had wet hair at Eurovision? Yeah. That's what I would have done. I would have been soaked. Yeah. So like, you know, a hairpiece stuck to my face. Yeah. And then a dress that was all drenched. Yeah. That looked drenched at yeah. least. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's stunning. Nothing more British than a... Oh, that is beautiful. Than looking like a wet dog. Oh my God, that is stunning. Yeah, that's... Well... Well, that's um, beautiful. I mean, I, I was thinking, God, what would I have done? And I was thinking, I actually dressed as a wet dog. Well, there you go. That's what I was going to do, yeah, a wet dog. a wet dog. You would have been a, you know, quite a fabulous wet dog. Do you know what I would have done for the challenge? What would you have done? Curry water. Oh. Cooling water to have after your spicy curry at the curry house. Oh, oh, always. And I would have had the brick actually having curry. You're always looking And then back. on the... Then on the toilet, the next thing would have been on the toilet, they would go on the toilet and be like, have sis! Oh. oh, I like it. You always have to link it back to daddy's business. What? At the, the whole palace. Uh, number one, I love my daddy, as you know. And number two... We all uh, love daddy Lahore. Oh, we all love daddy Lahore. And the other thing also is, you know, it's about... This challenge was about branding. You've got to stick close to your brand. And you are... I'm the, queen of, I'm the queen of the curry house, babes. You really are. You are the curry house, babes. Yes. So you next. Yes. Yes. Um, okay, so great runways. Who stuck out for you on the runway? Um, the Vivian killed it, I thought. Beautiful. It wow, was so was like haute couture. It was high fashion. It was conceptual. Davina was camp. She was camp. You know, nothing more camp than the yellow Mac. Yeah. I would have, yeah, that, that. Or I would have come out as clouds. <gasps> Dark clouds and yeah. white clouds. Oh, that would be beautiful. She literally just clouds. You don't wouldn't see you just see clouds. Yeah. I think that would have been stunning. Oh, that's stun. Okay. Who won the challenge? Uh, the Vivian. Deserve it? Deserve it. She was really polished. That look was next level. Up there with one of the best uh, looks. Certainly of Drag Race UK. If not one of the best of the whole Drag Race franchise. Even beating some of the Drag Race Thailand, because let's be real, Drag Race Thailand is a competition. Yeah. Oh, love it. Anyway, um, I think that was really good. Yeah. Uh, and I think she she smashed it. She's really... You know, it was. I think it was Rude that said... No, not Rude. Katia said to Davina, you have to behave as if you're the winner and you're here... You know, they're just your audience. You're a star. Mm. And that's true. And the Vivian is 100% together. Mm. She's focused. And that really shows. Mm. So she deserved it. I think Bagger was really... Not Bagger. The Viv- uh, Davina was really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think she was overshadowed look-wise by... By our Vivian. Vivian. I think the Vivian has been waiting. And she has f- thrown everything... Uh, she has prepared visually. She has prepared herself. She, come on, she's got fucking... Apologies for my French. She's got lace front eyebrows. Do you know what I mean? The woman was like, how can I look my best self? She's got flippers. She's got, allegedly, a hairpiece. She was like, I want to be polished. Good on her. Both as a boy and as a girl. And that's how you do it. Good on her. Uh, what did you think of the bottom two? Who were the bottom two? Cheryl and Blue. Mm-hmm. I think Blue, unfortunately, looked a bit out of place. Yeah. She looked, you know, she looked... She gave a, a good go. Yeah. She looked good, but compared to the other four... Yeah. She looked the weakest. Yes. Or weaker. Yes. And also, I didn't think her um, advert was as strong as the others. No. Unfortunately. You feeling a bit sleepy? A little bit, babes. Um, okay, let's get on to the lip sync then. The lip sync song was Call My Name by Cheryl, who was one of the guest judges. Yeah, she looked point stunned. Was, she looked really good. That was a beautiful... Beautiful colour, yeah. On. It was kind of like a lemony yellow. Yeah. 
Uh, that suit was stunning. Yeah, I loved yeah, it. it was yeah. Beautiful. And it was quite touching when Cheryl met Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl on Cheryl. I have to say that must be quite a hard thing to do. Like meet your idol and then lip sync on their song in Imagine front of them. If you're if you ever make it onto Drag Race and you're the bottom two and Dan International is and you you and you're doing Diva or you're doing the Zakti. It wouldn't have been exactly because a British audience wants to get... Well, imagine if, if you end up... Imagine if, if it was Diva, oh my imagine God. Imagine if you end up as the first Muslim queen on Israeli drag race. Imagine. Imagine. Oh my I'd God. watch that drag race. Oh, my God. Anyway, wowzers. Uh, I, I love the um, lip sync. Uh, Cheryl obviously was in her element. They didn't just play the radio edit of that song. They played a remix of Call My Name. Mm. And it was very Essex. Duff, 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 very duff. Essex. And her death drops. She was gliding. Yes. And you know, like, whereas Blue was, like, going in erratically. Yes. She was gliding. Yes. She looked sultry. Yes. She had, you know, she had done that number over and over. But is she at a disadvantage? Because she performs as Cheryl in Girls Aloud, doesn't she? You know she that? does, yes. Drag parody of... Yes, of, of Girls Aloud, yeah. So was it, a, you know, an unfair advantage? It's a reality show. Certain things are produced. Yeah. Is it inevitable that Cheryl Hole was in the bottom the week Cheryl was guest yeah. hosting and lip syncing to a song? But, you know, kudos to her. The winner of the lip sync was... I see the Cheryl Hall. Deservedly. Deservedly, Cheryl Hall. And we said a very emotional goodbye mm, to Blue Hydrangea. She's such a good queen. She's good. She's likeable. And she has done a lot just by being visible. I, I truly believe that sometimes, you know, people complain about what can I do? What can I do to change stuff? Mm. I'm not happy with something. Sometimes just being visible and just being truly yourself. Mm. That is the biggest weapon that we have at Amen. our disposal. Amen. You've been doing this as British Pakistani and... You know, openly LGBT and um, Muslim. Slim. Well, again, when you don't see yourself out there represented in the world, you just, all you can do is just be yourself. Yeah, you feel a craving and, to... And, you know, w one reason why I love Blue is just, you know, what she said about, I just want to do my country proud. Blue, you've done more than your country proud. You smashed she did. it. She did. She was... And I hope that you're happy that... You know, there's equality finally in Northern Ireland. Yes. And we love you very, very much. She was one of the standouts of this season. Such a big no, standout. And she's got a, a career in front yeah. of her now. Listen, it all goes wrong. Just go professional with makeup. Oh, honey, she she will have a career in front of her with yeah. or without makeup. We know that without a doubt. But yeah, she's stunning. Right. So next week is essentially the semi-final. Okay. Predictions? Who do you think is going to be... Booted out. I think Cheryl's going to be booted out. She yeah. hasn't won a challenge yet. I think it would be very surprising if Cheryl stays and someone else is, someone else goes. Yeah. I think it's going to be the Vivian, Davina and Bagger top three. Mm -hmm. With, and I'm going to put it out there, I think it's going to be Davina and Vivian battling it out. You think Davina and Vivian will be battling for top two? Yeah. There will that. be top two. Yeah. And it'll be between them two to crown the winner. I can see that happening. In that case, and I think Davina's a shoe in to win. I don't think Vivian will win. I think she might be a bit too acerbic. Mm. A bit too marmite. But I, I, I've always enjoyed Davina. Mm. From the few times that I've met her, she's always been incredibly nice and kind. But I have also really enjoyed the Vivian. I love how hungry she is for it and she is incredibly polished mm. but I think you know it depends ultimately how you know Rue was feeling that day Amen You shall see us next week for our review of episode 7 which incidentally we okay. will be doing from Pakistan Is that where we're going? No, we're going to see some of my family. But we're obviously going to be in Pakistan when episode 7 is airing. 
and we are going to do an episode directly, a review directly from Pakistan. Oh, and yes. I cannot wait. So excited. We're going to be doing it from the future. Yes. Amen. Let's hope the Five hours ahead. Let's hope the electricity doesn't run out. And let's hope we have a very strong Wi Fi connection. We hope for the best. Yeah. What else fails? Just for you guys, we're going to be racking up data. Girls. Yes. Just for you guys. Yeah. We'll be selling right. you later. On the street corner. Exactly. Yes, in Lahore. Right, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody in between, thank you for watching our review of RuPaul's Drag Race. Is that your Shirley Bassey voice? This is my Shirley Bassey voice. Oh, you paid for it, so. You might as well have it, but you don't have the range. (laughs) I don't have the range. You don't have the range. But on that note, everybody, take care. Yes, I was born in Swansea. Take care of one another and we shall see you next week. Bye. Bye.